back with Bobby and JJ Radio. If you're just tuning in, we've been speaking with Geekdom, talking about all the different stuff that's going downtown as far as Geekdom's concerned. It's a great company. It was great interviews. You've missed any of it. Go to BobbyandJJRadio.com. Be a fan of our show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I think Bobby's still on MySpace for whatever reason. Our next guest is Jonathan Sarabia. It's coming back. He's It's coming back. It's cyclical. <laughs> Jonathan has been in banking for 10 years, and he's uh, actually just started with Lyft Fund, which used to be Acción, and, and Acción he's been doing them f- with them for about half a year. Uh, no kids, no why? Nope, single. Smart Uh-oh. guy. Oh, smart yeah. dude, yeah. smart dude. So I keep my own money. Well. <laughs> that's it. That, that's why you're able to lend it out, right? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. So let's talk about the Lyft Fund. What is it about? How is it different from everyone else? Tell us all about it. Uh, so what Lyft Fund is, is we're the nation's largest micro lender. Um, what that means is we help existing and startup businesses uh, with business loans. So we've been in business for 21 years now, started off as Acción Texas, and our mission is to provide uh, provide capital sure. for businesses that don't have access to it in the traditional manner, which is banks or credit unions. So you've been out for 21 years, and you pretty much lend out what the other ones won't to the other businesses and people that they won't. Right. So we partner with a lot of banks and credit unions. Um, they'll go ahead and refer if they if they decline an application, they'll refer over to us so that we can assist them with the loan. So let's say I'm a startup. How how are you able to help someone like me that, that's doing an actual startup? So if you're a startup, what we'll do is we, in addition to the loan, we also have technical assistance. So if you are just just have an idea, we can help you with a business plan. Sure. We have business advisors that will do that free of charge. Um, we'll go through the loan application process, and we can lend up to 50000 for a startup wow. business. Yeah. So uh, Bobby's trying to be a mariachi on the side. And it, right now it's just an idea. It's, uh, it's a gold mine. <laughs> <laughs> In San Antonio it is. Yeah, it's a gold mine. I mean, he, I mean he's, not, he's just going to go to like to other restaurants, like Italian restaurants, because they don't see that. Yeah. And so that's his vision for himself. And for you, but that's a different story. Come see me, Bobby. All right, yeah, go see him, bro. All right, so a lot of the startups, um, what do you feel is the real true step? when you Because know, we've had the show, actually, where it was like, do you have an idea? Do you have a, a product or a business? So... What do you feel is the first step for someone that's really has a concept or something like that? Well, in all actuality, the first step is having the idea. So they've already taken that first step. Okay. The first step as far as starting the business would be to get a business plan. Um, whether it's whether it's a formal or informal, that's going to be your first step. Okay. Um, funding, which is where I come in, is usually going to be your last step uh, prior to starting the business. And See, we say real estate's the last step. Well, real estate, you need the funding for it, don't oh, okay, you? Okay, cool. So cool. without, without, <laughs> I without, wanna, naming, I make without naming any names, what is the worst idea you've ever heard? <laughs> 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 that's not what this is about, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, just throw it that's, out That's there. green room talk. That's green room talk. Without naming any names. No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what is the process, though? Let's say Mr. Mariachi for Italian restaurants has the idea. So what is the process? What's the requirements? Does he have to put up money for the accordions up front? Or I mean, what, what, what's going to get him to the point where you're going to actually fund him a lot? Yeah, for a true startup, uh, what we're going to be looking for is some owner injection. So we're going to want to see some resources put in. Um, we do want to see 10 to 20% of your own money going into the deal. Um, so okay. if, it's a large, if it's a large loan, uh-huh. obviously it's going to be a little bit more costly. Right. If it's a, a small business that you're running from home, sometimes we don't even need that owner Give injection. Give me an example of that kind of business. So if it's like an arts and craft business, I got you. so say you have you you make, make mums for, for right. If it's, if you make mums, you don't need that much money. A uh, five thousand dollar loan, we won't ask for that. What that if I sort of a, a mum business called Mums the Word? You think it just go viral? I think that already exists. Does it? <laughs> I'm, see, I, I'm just so busy with real estate. Just, people steal my ideas. So you got to patent that. I do have to patent it. Uh, so let's say I want to start this business. Are you guys looking traditional stuff like credit and, and all that kind of stuff? So credit is a component of it, but at Lift Fund we don't have a minimum credit score requirement. So we're very flexible with our credit. Um, actually, our average uh, score is actually 599. Is that right? And so, so the better the the credit, the worse the idea could be. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, <laughs> actually, the better the credit, the more you can receive from okay. us. 
So um, now, but the, given that, we can still lend to you if you have bad credit. And we'll also kind of coach you through your credit issues. And they have to come in with the business plan and present it to you guys just like a regular business one, right? Uh, depending on the size. Or is it like Shark Tank where you just like give thumbs down and stuff like that? No? Yeah, so we actually have Mark Cuban in the office. Awesome. And, cool. and he tells us yes or no. Yeah, he's not a laughing scientist. <laughs> hey, one. you hit the button and there's a trap door and they block. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> exactly. No, so if it's a small loan, we don't require the business plan. Um, usually 15000 or more is when we're going to want to see that business plan. So what is the amount that I could get as a, as a business owner? Like what are, I know you said 50,000 for a start, but what is, what is the ranges that I can actually get through the lift fund? Our range is actually $500 to 250,000 on our, on our micro loan side. A lot of accordions, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of accordions. You might even be able to get a whole band on staff right there, dude. Right from the get go. I'm not supporting this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so, so tell us about the, the timeline of getting a loan. So usually the timeline is about three weeks. And so it can be a little bit longer. It can be quicker. It all depends on the client themselves and how quickly you get us our required documents back. So, so I've done one in as little as a week. Wow. I've done some that have taken two or three months. It's just uh, it's kind of the honest on the on the actual borrower getting us the documents back. And do you guys have any events or do you do anything to, you know, for um, is there anything coming up where people can get some more information or? rally behind or get some information about the lift fund yeah we do have uh, events that we do we hold workshops and every quarter we release a schedule it's on our website liftfund.com okay and it has our, our schedule for the quarter so this month we have three more coming up it's a, on monday the 7th we have the 10 time entrepreneur's guide to goal setting on the 8th it's not really a workshop it's a holiday mixer and on the 12th we have a business plan boot camp and so anyone then anyone can go to these different events they just have to Go to your website and register? Right. So we encourage you to go to our website and register, but it is open to the public. You don't even have to be a client of ours. Awesome. And they're all free of charge. Great. So if you want some more information, you need to get a hold of Mr. Jonathan Sarabia at 210-531-5535. Again, that's 531-5535. Check out all the events at www.liftfund.com, or you can email him directly at jsarabia at liftfund.com. We're going to take a quick break. Do not touch your dial. We'll be right back with Bobby and JJ Radio. <laughs> 